Um, oh, sorry. It's my mom. <laughs> Hold on. Um, mom, I'm, I'm shooting a video, so I'm gonna have to call you right back. Oh, you look so cute. Thanks, mom, love you. Hello, British Vogue, it's Zendaya here, and I'm gonna take you with me through a deep dive of my Instagram archive. Me and my son. Ah, it's my, it's my kid. Noon goes with me everywhere. He's a set dog. He's here today, um, probably in my dressing room, so he doesn't uh, bother everybody. He's got a little bit of attitude, but I love him very, very much. The name Noon came from the fact that growing up, I had a giant schnauzer, and he passed when I was like 19, and so I wanted to get another dog. I named the first dog Midnight, and so obviously Noon fits and the joke is that if I ever have a dog afternoon, it will be afternoon. But technically that's Noon's full name, afternoon. <laughs> oh, Spider-Man. This is from Spider-Man Far From Home. We got to finish the shoot in New York. Also in New York, you can't lock off the streets, so there's just people like hanging out and watching, watching us do this scene where we're pretending to swing around the city and they go, ah, you know? So every time we went up there, we tried to like make a funny face or wave at them and having this really strange but cool and surreal experience of like me with one of my best friends in a Spider-Man costume. It's a bucket list experience. <laughs> This is from the last Met. I'm gonna be honest with you, this Met stressed me out. I was basically wearing a dress that was like electronic. I got there and it wasn't ready. It was supposed to do a little bit more than it did, like it was supposed to start smaller and get bigger. I'm so grateful for the team who worked so hard, but they were like under a lot of pressure. You know what I'm saying? It needed a week more, but you know what? The show must go on. We just had fun with it. And I was like, it's supposed to be camp. We're not taking ourselves too seriously anyway. It's a Disney girl in a Disney princess dress. I tried to like keep that in mind, but I'm like, this isn't done and this isn't done and this isn't right. And they're gonna take a picture of this and this is gonna get done. It was stress, stress. I'm really looking through the Instagram. This is a video from when I was shooting Greatest Showman back in 2017, I think. I had to work out every day, which anybody who knows me knows that I unfortunately don't work out as much as I need to. And so obviously for this role, given that I was a trapeze artist, I had to work out every day so I could at least have enough upper body strength to hold myself up. And this is Zach and I, and I just propped up my phone so I could see what I look like. So I was like, I don't know if I'm doing this right. He was a great partner because we body slammed into each other. We were trying to hold on to each other, but he was always there, always super supportive. And um, this was one of our first kind of takes of trying to like do the spin thing and then hold on to each other and get a good spin going that ended up in the movie. So yeah. The boobs plate thing. This is from Critics' Choice, not this past year, the year before that. The Tom Ford team was lovely and they came to my house and I stood topless in my living room while they had like this like machine that, you know, scanned my boobs. And here we are and it's beautiful and I got to keep it. Thank you, Tom Ford. Beautiful, but I imagine it would be a real boob sweat. You know, here's the thing. Looking at it, I see how you would think that, but on the inside, it was lined in some type of absorbent fabric that was really soft and lovely. So no, there was no real boob sweat issues for me. My boobs forever immortalized in Tom Ford chrome. <laughs> this is old. This is Bella and I back from the shake it up days when for some reason every picture was like Don't know why but we all thought it was cute. I'm not sure where we are or what we we're doing probably on set shooting We're so young and we were growing up together. We were like 
13, 14 in this picture, you know? <laughs> Babies. We went to school together and it was really only us in the classroom, you know what I mean? And like, we would have hour long digressions and just talk and, you know, there was one time she came over to my house and we made cupcakes. It was like little things like that, you know, that were, that were special. But yeah, that was um, good times. This is in London. I saw Miss Naomi Campbell, the icon herself. When we took a picture, I was like, oh, I better. I, you know what I'm saying? I gotta get it together. I gotta give face. That's all I was thinking was like, do not let her down in this photo right now because I know without trying, she's giving, so I need to give as well. Law and I. Okay, this is a picture of Law and I in uh, Paris, I believe. We've been working together since I was like 15 years old. Law had this dress and he really, really wanted me to wear it and he had found it and it was gorgeous and it had all this beautiful detailing and almost looked like a piece of art. I really wanted to wear it, but the event that he wanted me to wear it to was not appropriate. And we had like a whole little back and forth about it. And so we just kind of held onto the dress. And we're like, we really want to do something with it. So one day we were in Paris and we were just kind of had nothing else to do. So we were like, let's dress up, do a little photo shoot and take some pictures in the hotel. So I literally walked around, you know, this hotel with Law and this photographer and we just, took a whole bunch of pictures and this is me lying on the floor while Law is trying to fix my dress. <laughs> We're just having fun, that's all. This was the big Emmy night, which was so crazy and special. It's about to be a year now, crazy. I feel like it just happened. And I'm actually really grateful that I got to do it at home with my family because I would have been way too nervous to sit up there in front of a whole bunch of people. And then I took these pictures in my living room as well. I had got to keep the trophy, you know? My mom actually had it for quite a few months when I went off to do Spider-Man. She was holding on to it for me, but uh, I went to her house and I was like, mom, I need that back. You know what I mean? <laughs> You made history. I mean, I, yeah, it's still pretty crazy. I still don't really have words for the experience. I just feel very, very lucky. This is also from Spider-Man Far From Home. I think we were in Prague. And this was us literally just chilling. It was hot as shit, And we were all just hanging out and chilling while they were setting up the next shot. And I thought it was a cute picture because the gang was all together. Now this was my favorite Met. I surprisingly didn't have stress this time around. Law had found this reference of this hair for like this Joan of Arc look that he had been preparing and working on. And we popped the wig on and it was cool. And I was like, great, this is easy. But I will tell you what, the dress was heavy. Literally, I was sore the next day. I was like carrying a weight all night. Laura, from, also from Spider-Man, Laura Harrier, she was helping me carry my dress so I could get, so I could get out. Thank you, Laura, for that. Let's see. This was Hunty and I. We really wanted to see our billboard for Euphoria because how cool is that? It's massive, like my face is huge. And I was like, I just wanna see that. And yeah, it was, a, it was very special to share that moment with her. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay. <Ruby! laughs> We're very close. I love her very, very much. I am so lucky to be able to work with her every day. We have like a really cool job together. We kind of get to do all this crazy stuff. And I think this was one of those like crazy surreal moments that we got to share with each other. That's a special memory. This is from shooting Malcolm and Marie. This was JD and I. We were just like chilling, practicing our lines, trying to remember our pages and pages of dialogue together. Someone came in and just took a picture of us. So this is us. I don't know what day of the night shoot, but it was 14 days straight. He was probably delirious. I was hyped. I had so much energy every night for some reason. I was like, I could do this forever. Felt like some kind of cool, weird, like artsy summer camp thing. I don't know. It was, it was special. 
So yeah, that was a, a little moment that was caught. Oh yeah, the caption, I think it was like, watching it on Valentine's Day and apologizing in advance if it got any arguments started. Hopefully this is a I definitely did to watching it on Valentine's Day in Romani, as opposed to like getting an argument with anybody. Let me know if you need backup, I got you. This is a picture of me and my mommy. This is my parents' wedding, and this was little two-year-old me as a flower girl. The wedding was held in my grandparents' backyard, and it was super cute, and all my family was there. I don't remember it, but I got pictures, and everybody looked great. I'm very close to my mom, obviously, hence the reason she just called me to check in. Yeah, I'm lucky I got, I got, a, I got a great mommy. This is my first Instagram post. This is Davis who played Bella's younger brother on the show. He was like my little brother. My mom took that picture of us after one of like our uh, live tapings and I, I guess this was my first uh, first picture. But can we just talk about the caption, D-Dog and Z-Swag? I, <sighs> my fans still haven't forgiven me for the, for like the fact that somehow they became named the Z-Swaggers and we don't really have a name as a fandom. Are we still Z-Swaggers? Like, is that what, is, are we still doing that? Or have we brainstormed some new ideas? I don't know. You guys let me know. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know, I thought it was cool at the time. I didn't know any better. Didn't age well, but that's okay. I think a lot has changed. I've done some growing, you know? I don't use swag as often in my vocabulary, which I'm grateful for. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that was fun, taking a walk down memory lane. Thank you so much for watching.